Peterson Winslow, all natural line of products. I'm uh, the master of flavor, and today is a very special day. We're going to make a product called Shrimp Pisano. Shrimp Pisano. I had too much Texas in that, didn't I? With uh, the Pioneer Bison, uh, all bison natural uh, sausage uh, that we call Beer Versed. And uh, I've got my shrimp that's already been deveined and cleaned, and we've got it in half and half. It's been sitting in there uh, for 15 minutes. I'm going to get a little uh, flour here, which I'm going to crush some uh, little fresh black pepper and some sea salt. Okay, we're going to mix that up in the flour. Take it over to the stove here. I'm going to turn this baby up on high. Put some olive oil in it. Now, we don't want to completely fry this shrimp. We want to have it half in the oil. Because we're only going to be really and truly cooking the bottom half. Uh, and here in a minute, I'm going to tell you why. Or I can tell you now, and then I can reiterate it later. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to dredge our shrimp in this flour. Only going to cook half of it, put it on our sheet pan. Uh, because the, the top half is going to be uh, like a, 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 a a fresh uh, flour donut. Uh, you're going to have a, a little sweetness in there and uh, this is going to add a different layer to what we're doing here as far as a uh, very rich rich uh, meal here or an, or an appetizer. I'm going to get my sauce going while, this, while the oil is being uh, warming up. I'm going to get my sauce for my shrimp into action. Uh, we're going to put, well, that's the wrong bowl. Okay, here we go. We're going to put in a half a stick of butter. We're going to put in some of this garlic. We're going to put it over to the stove here, warm it up while we're warming up the oil. Along with the, uh, along with the butter and the garlic, we're going to have a half of a lemon juice, excluding the seeds, which I'm going to have to take out. I can already smell my my oil getting hot. It's it's ready to go. shrimp in at a time. Lightly dredge that shrimp. I'm going to cut down my heat by half. Getting a little too hot. If it gets too hot, remove it completely out off the flame or the electric element. Shrimp needs to go in there for about five minutes. Like I said earlier, you need to have at least a good five minutes 
on one side of that shrimp. And you really don't want to overcook it. Then it turns rubbery and it's not going to make this appetizer worth a flip. <laughs> After all these are finished, then we can get back on board with the, with the sauce. It's going to take the five minutes on the broiler. It's done. I got this, a mixture of uh, minced garlic, real butter, making the sauce for this shrimp asano. We got shrimp, the final stages of cooking the shrimp. This platter is going to be full of shrimp. Um, wait for a little sauce and waiting for the, uh, the bison on the actual beer burst. The butter and garlic is about ready. I'm going to add my yolks to it. I've got a few more remaining shrimp that need to go on this platter here. My sauce is at a time where I need to add my, my size and some parsley. Didn't really have to go on all of it. Oh, it's just a tad. For about five minutes. Peterson Wenzel beer burst. Actually tried this without this sausage and with it. And I tell you what, it added another dimension of flavor that's really outstanding. Always set the timer and be careful. Yeah, get that get that five minutes in there. Oh uh, shrimp. Pasano with uh, all natural bison beer verse sausage on top. And I'm telling you, the combination of all those flavors and the smell of that beer verse, it's dynamite. Absolutely dynamite. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Thank you for being part of the. What? We'll see you next time because I know that you will be healthy, naturally speaking. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Look for the stamp of Texas pride. Go Texas. Launched by the Texas Department of Agriculture in 1999, the Go Texan program promotes the products, culture, and communities of Texas. From food, wine, and horticulture to restaurants and retirement communities, Go Texan covers it all. Find out more at www.gotexan.org or call 877-99-GO-TEX.